Kristen here from The Cake Making Mum. Today we're going to be doing an ombre buttercream rosette cake. So we're going to be doing a dark blue at the bottom, light blue in the middle and maybe a white at the top. So I just bought all of my ingredients from the supermarket here in Melton and I reckon we could get into it now. So here I've pre-made my cakes and I've brought them in today. Um, as you can see, these two are quite flat but this one has a little rounded top so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top off that one and make it a nice flat top. So I'm just going to slice the top off really gently so cake decorating is very messy just remember that <laughs> and then I'm just going to have a look Yep, so they're all pretty flat. Okay, so I've just leveled my cakes, washed my hands because it can be quite messy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stack my cakes onto my cake board. So I just picked this up from the supermarket as well. And I've got my pre-made buttercream here that I brought with me today. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a bit of buttercream on the board to make sure my cake sticks, doesn't move around. And I'm gonna put my first layer of cake on the board. Make sure it's in the center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more buttercream and I'm just gonna layer it on. So it doesn't have to be really neat, can be messy. So we're just going to put the next layer of cake on top. I'm going to sit it on top and we're just going to make sure that they're in line with each other. Push it down and we're going to do that again with the buttercream. So buttercream or what we call is like a soft icing. So um, there's there's different types of icing. Buttercream is our soft um, icing that you find in between cakes or around cakes. Uh, when we hear the word fondant, it's the hard icing that we find around cakes. So we're using our soft icing for this cake. All right, and I'm just gonna pop my third layer on. I'm just gonna make sure it's on nice and straight. Now you can see in here, I've got some gaps and that's, that's, that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill those gaps up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this in the middle now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my buttercream and I'm just going to move it around the edges. It starts off pretty messy. That's okay, we just want to fill up all the holes. Now this is just a base coat for our rosette cake so it doesn't need to be uh, really, really perfect as long as there's something for our rosettes to stick to. So if you're looking for cake decorating tools, a lot of the shops in Melton sell them. Like you can find cake decorating tools in Big W and Fantastic Variety uh, at Woodgrove. They sell some tools. Okay, so I've just popped that around. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my scraper and I'm gonna quickly scrape off all the excess buttercream. Doesn't matter if there's some, some of the cake showing. You might just wanna apply a little bit more to the bits that have none at all. All right, and we're just gonna do the top. This turntable is also really handy. It uh, makes cake decorating a lot easier. So if you wanna start making your own cakes, definitely pick one up. Um, this one I just picked up from maybe Big W. So you can, they do sell them 
at some of the local shops here in here in Melton. Okay, so that's the top. I'm just going to go around the sides one more time. And I'm going to scrape the top. Give it a nice clean top. And then I'm just going to grab some paper towel. And I'm just going to clean the board. All right, so once that's all clean, I'm going to sit that aside for a minute. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to prepare my colors for the rosettes. So I'm just going to divide it into three, into three bowls. So I've just got some more buttercream here. I'm just going to divide it up. So one of them I'll be keeping white, dark blue, and a more pale blue. So it's going to be ombre. So ombre is darker to light shades. So I've got my gel here. You can buy gels. You can buy Americolor gels just from Fantastic Variety at Woodgrove. So they sell these kind of gels. I'm going to be using a different gel. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of colour into this bowl. So I'm going to put more colour into this bowl than I would into that bowl. And I'm just going to stir this one around. and color that buttercream. So you start with a bit, and if it's not dark enough, then you add some more color. You don't wanna to add too much straight away. So if you can see my buttercream is turning blue, it's probably not overly dark, so I might wanna add a little bit more. So we want our darkest color at the bottom of the cake. So here I've mixed through my colour. I'll show you the spatula because it is in a blue bowl. So that's my darkest blue, which will go on the bottom of the cake. With the second colour, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of blue colour. Not going to put anywhere near as much as I did with the other one. So this colour needs to be a lot lighter. So I'm going to start with a real tiny bit. So our final colour is going to be white. So we want it to go from blue up to white. Okay, so I'll just show you this one and you can see the difference in the colours. So that's our dark blue, that's our light blue, and then we're going to use our white. And our white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop those into piping bags. Once again, you can buy piping bags from any of the main shops. Big W sell piping bags, Fantastic Variety sell piping bags. And they sell piping tips as well. So I've got a little star shaped piping tip and I'm just gonna fill my bags. So I'm just gonna fill my piping bag. So you can see the blue here. So this is our darkest blue. And I'm just gonna squash it in my bag. All right, I'm just gonna shake it down. And that's our first bag ready. Okay, we're gonna take our second bag and we're gonna pop our next color in it. And our final piping bag, we're gonna put the white in there. So I've got my tips all ready in my piping bags. It's really good to have multiple tips when you want to do a rosette cake. Multiple tips are the same tip. Um, it saves you having to change the tip and the bag after every colour. Okay, so I'm going to start piping my rosettes. I've got my dark blue colour first, which I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. 
So usually I find my front of the cake and I start at the back. So a rosette is like a little swirl. I will show you when I come around. So the first couple are always a bit wonky till we get going. There's our first layer done. So we're going to take our next colour, which is our light blue, and we're going to pipe on top of that layer. Okay, so we've done our bottom layer. Now I'm going to apply my second layer, which is the lighter blue that we've done. Once again, I'm just going to start at the back. So when you do your rosettes, it's just a swirl. So you start in the middle, go around, and that's it. Just uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing these, you need to make a lot of buttercream. These kind of cakes take up a lot of buttercream, and the last thing you want is to run out midway through a cake. So make a lot and have extra. It's better to have extra than not enough. One thing you'll also find is that sometimes you get little holes in between each layers and that's okay. We're going to fill them up at the end. So what I'm doing is just popping in these little bits that are sticking out. And that's the second layer. All right, so I'm just going to do my white layer. Now, so I'm going to go around the side and then I'm going to do the top as well. When you're working with buttercream, you have to have the optimum temperature. It can't be too hot and it can't be too cold. If it's too cold, your icing will be too hard. And if it's too hot, your icing will just melt. So sometimes when it's too soft, you can pop it in the fridge only for a couple of minutes. Uh, don't leave it in there too long because otherwise it will go too hard and then you won't be able to pipe it onto your cake. So it's finding the right temperature to work with. It does take time. Even I don't get it right all the time. Okay, so there's my white layer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill up my piping bag again with some more white and I'm going to do around the top. I filled up my piping bag with more white. Now I'm just going to go around the edge. So we'll start on the outside and work our way in. There we go. So that's the top layer done. Now remember I said to you, we've got a few little holes in the cake that you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my other piping bags and I'm gonna fill in those holes. I'm gonna start with my dark blue. And I'm just gonna go around, I'll try and show you on this side. I'm just gonna push a little star in there where there's some holes. So you're just filling up those holes where you can see the cake underneath. You might want to do some in the lighter blue. And then if there's any holes in the white layer, 
So there's a couple up here. Just going to go in and put some stars in there. I'm going to make sure that the cake underneath is all covered. And that's it. There's your blue ombre rosette cake. <laughs>